Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick upload of my Thorzone Mjolnir build. Finally got her done. The loop is finished. I'm going to do a more detailed video here in a couple days of the entire build log, but I just wanted to do a quick one here to show you guys what she looks like. It's really hard to get a shot here without getting a reflection. Maybe at nighttime it'll be easier. But there's the CPU side. It's pretty cool, this block here. If I can focus. Oh. It has a temperature gauge on it. There we go. It tells you what your CPU is running at. So 30 degrees Celsius. And that's at idle without any fan spinning. So I'm really impressed. This is actually real granite too that I had cut just for this build. I love the way it looks. Really makes it look classy. So I'll give you a little tour. It's the back side. This is actually a water glass for my cat to drink from. going on here is the tubes coming out of the back of the computer from the graphics card slot. What I did was use shims to push the graphics card completely against the glass. So I'll basically just move it one slot forward so that I could route the tubes behind it just for visual aesthetics. And they go to these Coolance quick disconnect fittings which I'm telling you without these it would be impossible, well, maybe not impossible, but really hard to stick the shell inside of the core. And just for any kind of maintenance, moving the computer around, being able to disconnect the loop completely without having to drain it is a real, real lifesaver. We have a Corsair XD5 pump. I was originally going to use two DCLT2600 pumps with the Ice Station 40 reservoirs, one inside of the case and one outside uh, so I could run the loop disconnected from this base and just connect it up to itself internally off of just the 120 millimeter radiator inside. But at the last minute, I decided not to for two reasons. One, because how often am I going to be using the computer for a workload light enough where a 120 millimeter radiator would cool both a Ryzen 9 5950X and a 3080 Ti? And two, I didn't want to go through the headache of bleeding the air out of the loop on those little reservoirs. So I just went with the big one. And I may update this in the future. I mean, eventually, when new parts come out next year, I definitely will be tearing it down and upgrading. So, you know, might go hardline then. And at the same time, put the uh, smaller pumps inside the actual chassis. Here is the graphics card side. This just looks amazing. The whole reason I went with the Founders Edition card was because of this water block right here. I fell in love with it from the moment I saw it. And I was really bummed out because I had a 3080 XC3 Ultra from EVGA, and they didn't make a water block nearly as cool looking for that card, so yeah, I had to get a Founders Edition card. And I ended up getting the 3080 Ti Founders Edition. Waited at Best Buy all night for it. There you go. There's two 240 millimeter radiators inside of the base here, and then the one 120 millimeter radiator right there. Uh, like I said, I'll go over all of the um, components in a whole detailed build log here in the next video. I just wanted to do a quick one here for you guys to see how she looks. I'm really impressed. I love this case. I've been waiting a year. It's almost a year ago to the day that I ordered this case. June 9th was when I ordered it. June 9th of 2020. But there you go. It's just beautiful. And go figure, I have one fan here that has like half dead RGB in it. But you know what? I'm not going to rip this whole thing down just for that. I'll live with it. It's just like go figure, the one fan out of the six that I have in here that has bad RGB is the one that you can really see in the front. <laughs> but whatever.
I was more worried. I destroyed my graphics card and putting that water block on, and I didn't. So that was the main thing. I I could care less about a little RGB issue. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and like I said, I'll have a more detailed build uh, log here in a couple of days.